Hello, today we're gonna make a little upgrade on this uh, brand new Dell laptop. The model is Inspiron 3581. Now the laptop comes with a, a i3 processor, 7th generation, and it's with a regular hard drive. So we're gonna add uh, this team group SSD. So let's start. First thing, of course, we'll remove all the screws. They should be the same size. We will remove the optical drive also. The screws underneath the CD are a lot smaller so you can't get them wrong The screws here on the side of the hinges, uh, they got some sort of plastic stoppers, so you you can't remove them. So basically, that's the whole thing. The only thing we gotta do now is we have to separate the plastic. We should be careful because it's a brand new laptop, so I'm always starting on front. I like this, after that on the sides we don't want to make we don't want to leave scratches on this brand new laptop so we'll try to be precise a lot of people in some of my videos say that it took me quite a long time to disassemble the laptop but since it's a brand new, we don't want to give it to the customer with the scratches. Just separate the plastic here on the side of the battery. Like this. There's the plastic clips. Basically, that's the whole procedure. Now, something about the laptop. According to Dell, uh, the laptop support class 35 and class 40 SSDs, which means uh, a regular SSD and a, a PCI Express SSD. I'm gonna leave a link under the video about the full specification of the laptop. It supports up to 256 gigabytes of uh, SSD drive and you can install the maximum of uh, 2 terabyte of regular drive but it has to be limited to um, 5400 RPM. Uh, some of the laptop revisions depending on the area where you're living can be with a one RAM slot or with two. The maximum support Per RAM is about uh, 16 gigabytes uh, per slot, so you can make it uh, or 16 or uh, 32 gigabytes of uh, RAM memory. Now the first thing, of course, because sometimes I forgot in my videos, we have to disconnect the battery. 
but since I, got, I do this pretty much every day, sometimes I forgot. So just to be sure, disconnect the battery. On this particular laptop, we're gonna install a Team Group SSD class 40. 228 gigabytes just slide the SSD there is a screw on the laptop so you don't need any extra screws just install the SSD and plug back the battery again if you want to disassemble the laptop just for cleaning or something like that the procedure is absolutely the same you just have to remove the three screws here on the fan plus the four screws on the cpu and the three screws on the video card the laptop comes with the external graphic it's already on 520 with uh, its own memory of uh, two gigabytes ddr5 so pretty much good machine for that money not a gaming one but still okay so basically that's the whole procedure i hope you like the video like and subscribe if you do bye bye for now